And here we are back again. Today we're in the X-Plane 11 and I've been doing a lot of flying and streaming in X-Plane 11 in VR and I just thought I'd do a quick video outlining all the different points of how to make your VR look good on stream and just look good in general, uh, streaming or not. So uh, as I have had lots of people on my streams asking about this, I thought I'd do this video so I could help people out because I do do a lot of tweaking and testing and trying to get my uh, streams looking as uh, crisp and clean as possible. So we're going to go through a couple of points. Um, we are not in VR today. Uh, there may be a little bit of clips here and there showing it, but um, for... Um, for just jumping around the different things I thought I'd leave it in just a normal monitor so uh, we'll start with settings today now if we go up to our settings menu here and we go into graphics now if we look at uh, the visual effects um, high is um, doesn't seem to affect it too much uh, it seems to be pretty good uh, popping it up may you know hurt your uh, frames a bit uh, texture quality now not too bad on the texture quality here uh, at maximum with no compression uh, you don't see too much of a change so you may as well use them anti-aliasing yes uh, as you um, add, it, add up all these ones here bring these up here it does uh, start to affect you a little bit and you will see a little bit of tearing and stuff like that uh, a big one here is world objects now due to uh, VR having you know not the greatest in resolution as everybody knows um, auto gen is not really that important because you really don't see all those buildings very well and I find that I don't need to worry about it too much I would rather concentrate on good frames and uh, a nice crisp um, stream or picture so uh, if you're flying at night you will need to run this at medium if you uh, are not flying at night you can drop it back to low and uh, that's okay because if in you're in night time you're not going to see those lights if you do not have um, the world objects on medium uh, reflection detail doesn't matter as well so that is that uh, we can get out of there now Next thing is um, pixel density. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Now, here we go. Uh, I'm using the Oculus Debug tool. I used to use the tray tool, um, but now I don't use that anymore. Um, so basically, I set this to 1.5. Now, in X Plane, you see, kind of seem to get a diminishing returns after you go over 1.5. Uh, you're best to go back into your settings here and uh, start tweaking these um, perhaps even uh, from maybe trying uh, higher anti-aliasing uh, or just um, putting your world objects up or stuff like that um, I have used 1.6 and uh, that seems to be okay too but yeah you don't want to go overboard with your uh, pixel density there um, now a th big thing about um, VR in X-Plane 11 you've got a couple of points and places that uh, X-Plane runs really well in um, VR and anywhere in between that you start to get a little bit of tearing, a bit of stutters and it doesn't run very well so obviously 90 frames per second is fantastic um, then if you jump down to 45 it looks great uh, there's a magic number of 22.5 which runs just beautifully and everything looks fine so if you're having troubles um, maintaining 90.45 or 22.5 um, there's many things you can do there's um, changing the settings obviously or changing the, um, the way that your settings are set up like um, auto or max frames we'll go through this one in a second but this one's a good little tool to use to fix up your uh, your um your vr uh, frames per second um now the other thing you can do to try to uh, get your your frames per second to 
um, a nice place like 22.5 if that's what you're closest to. You may be running at 27 or something like that and getting this little touch of stutters. Uh, what you can do is uh, open up a YouTube video or something and run that or something like that to just kind of pull your frames back to about 22.5 and it will be sweet. So you don't have to worry about getting 45 frames per second. You can run a nice smooth stream or nice smooth um, game of, of VR in x 11 uh, at 22.5. Um, now, so another big point is, um, we'll close this right here now, we'll come back to that one, uh, is browser. Now this is a really big one for me which I found and uh, there hasn't been that many, many uh, things across the internet telling me about this, but what brought me to it was the fact that um, we uh, were having problems with Dash and using Windows inside it and the screens going black or turning into your background of your 2D monitor or something like that after about 45 minutes and I was really enjoying using Dash and uh, this started happening so I did a bit of research and I found that uh, the problem was actually Google Chrome. Um, I don't know the exact reason for this, but um, it's now stopped. Uh, I'm stopped having problems with it, and it runs really good. And the other point about this is that Google Chrome is such a resources hog; it's not even funny. Now, I haven't tried Firefox, but I do use Edge now, and um, it's making a hell of a difference to my VR picture uh, and how it runs. And it's pretty awesome, to be honest. Um, I do. I used to use more mods inside um, my VR to run chats and stuff like that, but now that I've sorted out that problem with Edge and Dash not crashing, I find I get better frames per second now and everything runs better with uh, Dash open. Now the only problem with Dash at the moment is you can't pull out specific windows, but what I do is I have my second monitor up in top of the roof of the aircraft. Um, and uh, then I have everything on there and I can just jump into dash mode there and click on everything, no problem. And I don't have to have all these different little windows in uh, other mods like Move VR and Avatar. We will go through those in a second too. Keep moving on here. Now, another big thing about getting a nice, beautiful picture is to get not, uh, don't get carried away with uh, mods. Um, you're, you've got to think about, weigh it up of um, how your, sim looks to how it runs. Now the great thing about X-Plane 11, 11 is that it looks great straight off the bat. Now all I run these days is Ortho XP, Ortho for XP which I have here in um, in um, New Zealand um, and everything looks really great. I get comments on my stream about uh, oh, what mods are you using, what's that sky, what's that weather, wow those clouds look good. These clouds right now don't look fantastic, I must admit. Um, not the greatest ones at the moment, but um, as you can see here, it looks pretty decent. We're getting going into the night here, and it looks pretty great. Um, so stock weather, stock um, skies, and stuff like that, stock clouds, and it looks fantastic. Now the only thing I have to say about that is. What you really do need is Ortho for XP. Now there's lots of sets you can download. There's the Lindemann's phot photographic set for New Zealand. There's US Ortho done by, um, oh, the Fork Boy? Uh, whichever who it is, you can look it up on the org and you can find it really easily. I do have the, those um, sets all the west coast of the United States. I have pretty much all the way east to Colorado and all the way to the coast and up and down. Um, so there's them. I also run a um, zoom level 14 of Australia and then I fill in the coastline and stuff like that with 16 or 17. So the good thing about this is is that um, the ortho runs better than the default, default scenery. So if you want to get your sim running nicer, runs a lot of ortho and it actually looks really, really good. Um, another point uh, I'd like to make is weather. Now, depending on if you're streaming or not, and you want to have a nice crisp uh, stream, you may want to um, uh, disable the um, 
the real world weather and perhaps you know you may even want to get rid of weather altogether I know it's not authentic but uh, this definitely will affect your frames if you are running weather um, what you can do though I think with Noah you can run that and then reduce the visual range which is a good one because let's face it you can't see too far so you know you can bring that visual range down and that may help your uh, frames for sure um, so now as far as mods go uh, we have this one here um, this is uh, 3J FPS which is really good for uh, VR you really can hone in on lots of stuff now a good thing about this is that when you're in VR you can't see everything very well anyway so changing these around to max quality or depending or even just auto makes a difference um, We've got some heavy weather here at the moment and we're doing 58, 60 or something like that. I am recording right now at like 20,000 megabits or something like crazy like that because I'm doing this video. So yeah, tweaking these, this is really good. Um, sometimes you don't see much of a difference. I think it really depends on your, your CPU. I've got a Ryzen so um, it can handle a lot more processes pretty easily even though I will I can't get the same FPS that say an Intel does but that's another story because um, I really like my Ryzen um, it runs and streams at the same time as the sim and the, my picture comes out pretty damn good now there are other mods to get there are move VR um, which can be a replacement for the dash and you can put them in your cockpit and they do work really well and uh, they don't they don't hit the frames too much unless uh, you make the pit the um, screens really big so you can use that the other one you can use is Avatab now Avatab has airports in it uh, you can throw in routes you can have um, charts in there so you can put your own PDF files into a specific folder and then you can pull them up and use them um, they're really good to have as well uh, it's a really handy little app I still use that one more so than move VR and that works really well now another um, there's a couple of tips and tricks that I use to try to um, get things happening obviously not too much of a trick this one but um, before you start streaming or doing VR restart your computer give it a nice refresh go into your say your processes and get rid of the things you don't want uh, you can also use things like um, d -d 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 Cortex as well Cortex is a good one to use um, and there's also Project Lasso which uh, I didn't find um, unless you actually purchased it uh, you didn't get all the benefits you really needed to but you can go in here and you can uh, clean up your uh, your uh, system and it'll um, look for junk files clean up some mem memory a bit and help you out uh, as you can see here we're just doing a quick scan so it's going to speed up da -da 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 -da, um, and that's good and you can also do game booster as well so that works pretty good so project lasso is the other one but you're going to need to buy that uh, to get the most out of it uh, also another good trick is if you go if you're finding you're getting a couple little bit of little micro shutters or something or other perhaps you bought open a really big uh, move the ask uh, window or something or you you shipped Navigraph in and you made it real big and you're starting to get a couple of shutters what you can do is you go into your menu uh, say open up your weather uh, in your VR um, screen here uh, so basically we're not in VR here but we'd go in here um, actually that's not it go we bring it up we'd be in VR here but we're not right now and what I do is I open up um, say open up this weather page and what I do is I in VR I look left and right I do a big 360 degree look uh, try to capture everything in there um, and make sure there's no jumping or anything like that and then after you do that you exit out of there and you're back in your cockpit and you're looking looking good I've found that's helped me lots of time I don't know if it's gonna help everybody but it seems to give your headset a little bit of time to catch up and get rid of those stutters I've used it many times and it's worked really well so you perhaps don't quote me on it but um, it definitely works for me so that's pretty much rounding it up um, just remember 
the, the least things you have on your computer and uh, in your sim, uh, things are going to run better. There are obviously lots of tricks. One of the biggest ones was the browser. Use Edge or perhaps Firefox. I haven't used Firefox, but Edge definitely runs better. Stay away from Google Chrome uh, because it's, um, yeah, it's a resources hog. And I tried definitely to stay away from that. Uh, since I've done that, things have gotten even better. So um, there we go. So many points there. I haven't numbered them or anything, but uh, hopefully the video is uh, coherent enough that you can go back and uh, check out all my points. I will um, try to do more of these type of videos when I find some more information. Uh, but that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe and like. Uh, come over to Twitch under the same name of Milo Sanks and come over and visit and we'll talk about stuff. I always talk about uh, uh, VR on my streams because uh, people come in and go, wow, that's VR. Wow, that looks really good. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one.